Hi, today I'm going to show my chicks that I've just hatched and they're two days old now and there's still some in the incubator and I'm going to be telling you. So, let's get into it. So, what you have to do, you have to get the eggs, which we don't want eggs like this that dinted or anything or if they're like got like all different if they're dirty and stuff you don't you don't want them but they have to be perfect clean and then perfect shaped and then we'll keep them for about keep collecting them for about two weeks and um then we'll put them into the incubator which is over here and this one is um the one there we start them off in and they're going for around around 23 days they go they they're meant to go in here for about 20 days and then after about 20 days that's when they like the waking up so then you'll move them into here which we that's what we like to do on day 20 on day which 20 is the which is the hatcher so you can have a hatch this is guy hatcher and then this is the one what kind of eggs are in here um in here there's some roll broy partridge which are the big ones which are them big ones at the back, and then the smaller white ones um, are silver bob white. Um, the, oh, the speckled ones. They're they're what we have down. They're what we have down here, which are Californian, in here, which are chicks. Which they're what we just we'll tell you them later. What about them plain ones. Them plain ones. Their partridge, just normal English partridge, English partridge. and um, I don't think there's any more in hatching there because they've already hatched. Which, if you go down here, these are the chicks, and basically, how they hatch is when they go, they go to about this, and then what they do, they peck all the way around it, and then pop they pop that open, and then they get out, and then they feed, and all that gunky stuff around the edge so then you don't need to put food or water or anything in there because they just feed off that the stuff, yolk the yolk inside and then and then you don't move them out of there until they're dry like this because when they're first born they're all wet and when they can walk and then they start moving around in the wet and they all get they get all wet and then and then you, they move them into here when they're all dried out and everything and then you give them food and water you can just scatter it about and put it in one place so they know where everything is which what we do um instead of wasting instead of wasting milk bottles you fill it up with water and then place them all over the place and then they'll find this and you have to put like little marbles in them as you can see in the water if you can see um you just put a marble so they don't drown in the water and that's um recycling basically um and these are the chicks they're around two days old uh, so when they're older they um get all the tufts on the head and the the they're all black and they have like the tufts on the head as you can see on a couple like this one there next at the very back them two at the back um they have tufts on the head i don't know if you can see but they they get quite big and they dangle forward and they get like and then basically yeah which they do change colors like when the babies they like they're all stripy as you can see but when they're older they get like all they get all like um they get all black and everything like that um and that's just and then you need to put a lamp in it to keep them warm if they're cuddled together trying to keep warm it's it's not it's what, not warm what, enough what temperature is it and it is 37.8 degrees celsius so that's what around it needs to be the lamp and in the box because if they're too close and they're all colored together um that means they're too cold which we you should put a red lamp if they should put a ramp, red lamp in but we've run out of them and we had all sorts of birds we hatch um to we have had turkeys, partridge, quail, pheasants, pheasants 
everything basically from turkeys hens. to quail hens um and basically everything really and these how long will they stay in this box for they'll stay in here for around a week and then you'll move them into somewhere else the big brooder the big brooder um and but I'll still put a heat lamp in to keep them nice and warm but that can be like outside so then you get used to the cold and then just keep heat and then put it but this heat lamp on the same degrees and but then it'll cool it down a bit if um yeah if it's outside and then and then just keep turning it down not sure, like every week or some or every couple of days and then they'll eventually get used to the cold when they're a bit grown up and then you can put them into where your aviary or something you might put a heat lamp in we some we keep a heat lamp in just so the use of the heat lamp which you should have red lights um for like the light to keep them warm but um we've run out and or oh, they've run out of battery or something or oh, we don't have batteries so that's a bit of a problem so and it worked we had what a couple but um they didn't they didn't, didn't get hot enough so uh, yeah that's it so See you next time. Bye.